Right here, this is a tutorial for the Mobilian trade language, a Native American language spoken in the southeastern United States from the South Carolina coast, at least to the plains of West Texas, related to Choctaw, Chickasaw, to a lesser extent of Muscogee Creek. It was widespread language spoken as a second language by people of various ethnicities, both Indian and non-Indian. My, uh, my help here, my source here, material here is James L. Crawford, who wrote this great article here in the Mobilian Trade Language with this nice map on the front. This is a tutorial with some of the basic language lessons included. We start with some very basic stuff right here. Uh, basic sentences you might meet using conversation with someone who spoke Mobilian. You see, coffee snubana. Do you want coffee? And then right below, okay snubana. Do you want water? As you notice, the Cafe, the subject, or the object, is first. Cafe and oke, okay, which is coffee and water in the Sioux sentences. The snu is you, and the bana is want, the verb to want. There is no do, do, in English. That word is not actually translated into the, into the mobilian, or the yamasi, as the language is called. So it's really only a, so that you drop the you do, you realize it's exactly three words left in English, and then, of course, there are three in in Mobilian, so it's cafe snubana, oki snubana. Very simple, very simple. Now we're going to uh, move a little forward on this and uh, do a little bit of change here. Hold on. Let's suppose we want to. How do you answer these these statements? That's the next part. So uh, you take the coffee snubana out here and you answer it like this. Kafi snubana, you answer it with kafi uh, kafi nabana. That's the answer. Kafi nabana. You see that? And then the oki snubana, you'd answer that with, let's say, you want water. You would say uh, oki nabana. So there's your answer. You see the two statements is it might be in a short conversation. So you sit down to the table with someone speaking mobility and they say, Kafi snubana, kafi nabana. Oki snubana, oki nabana. Yeah, this was a very common language. It's not the hardest language to learn. It was spoken by a lot of people. It was a lot of its vocabulary of mobility and was absorbed into, into the Creole French and Cajun French uh, languages of the Southeast. And of course, there are many place names in the Southeast, which are Choctaw and and Mobilian also. Uh, we'll get into them a little bit later, but this is a nice basic start, some very basic language. If you've been seeing the show Treme on HBO, you will hear some Mobilian with the Indian tribe. They, they are actually speaking Mobilian or singing Mobilian in some of their songs. Um, we all might know the lyrics, uh, Aiko Aiko, Chaka Mofinaye, it's a song um, that was recorded by the Dixie Cups in the uh, 1960s, you know, it goes, my flag boy and your flag boy sitting by the fire. My flag boy said to your flag boy, I'm going to set your flag on fire. And it goes, hey, yo. I go, I go, I lay. Jack a mofina, dun die. Jack a mofina, I go. Jack a mofina, I But that's Mobilian. That's Choctaw. And it was actually in the in the 1960s on the top 40. Can you believe it? Produced by us, Phil Spector of all people. But yes, it, that's that's an ancient language. And it still has made its way into popular country, culture, even though it seems almost unknown to the general public. This is our first Mobilian language tutorial. There should be more uh, Native American language tutorials coming up after this one. So uh, be on the lookout. I hope to be, have them on YouTube um, pretty soon.